Hi, I'm Kirby Allison, founder of The Hanger Project. The purpose of this video is to show you how to take your uneven, kind of unfinished edges and heels and refinish those to produce a nice, highly polished and clean uh, dress edge and heel. So in this tutorial, which is probably our most uh, comprehensive edge and heel care video, we're going to be using the alcohol-based liquid uh, leather dye from Saphir Tincture Frances to finish our edges. Now the general overview of this is that we're first we're going to smooth out our edges using a uh, very fine sandpaper. Then we're going to dye it using a uh, alcohol-based liquid uh, leather dye used as an edge dressing. And then finally we're going to finish them off with a little bit of neutral wax polish in order to provide that nice high shine that you expect from a new pair of dress shoes. So these are a pair of my Anthony Cleverly Baron De Ready Buckskin Tassel Loafers. Probably my favorite pair of casual shoes that I own. Super easy to wear and incredibly elegant. Uh, one of the problems that you can see with the regular use of these shoes is something that I call driver's heel. Basically anyone that's driving in their vehicle a lot is going to uh, wear the right heel of their shoe faster uh, than the other shoe because of the driver's pedal. So um, as you can see this is really uneven, right? Um, and it's just not a smooth edge anymore. So what we're gonna do first is we're gonna take a really fine sandpaper to sand that edge down to smooth it out um, before we re-dye it using the Tincture Frances alcohol-based liquid uh, leather dye. First step here is I'm going to use a really high grit fine sandpaper that I bought at a local hardware store to basically stand down and re-smooth any unfinished elements of the edge. Now whenever you do this you're going to see the color strip away from whatever previously applied edge dressing but don't worry about that because you're going to completely re-dye the edge using uh, the liquid based edge dressing uh, in the next video. So basically take a little bit of really fine sandpaper and then anywhere that you see an uneven, unsmooth surface, just take this and sand it. Now you may want to experiment with different types of grits. Uh, this is a really high grit 1500 um, sandpaper, but honestly I think it's maybe a little bit overkill. I could probably use, you know, like an 800 grit. Now using a sandpaper to sand down your edges are, is really completely optional uh, and it's just based off of a judgment call as to whether or not you're comfortable doing it uh, and whether or not you think your edges need it. So uh, if you have any really rough or uneven uh, areas of your edge or your heel, that's where the sandpaper comes in and is very helpful. But if you feel across this with your finger or you're just looking at it and you don't see any areas of unevenness that you think need to be sanded, you can completely skip this step. So next we're going to recolor the edge using Saphir's Tincture Frances alcohol-based uh, liquid um, leather dye. Now we're using this as an edge dressing, but all edge dressings really are just leather dyes. So I prefer using the liquid-based uh, leather dye versus the uh, cream-based uh, renovating repair cream just because I find that it does a better job penetrating the edge and it really just leaves that kind of natural uh, look of stacked heels and um, you know a highly finished kind of bespoke edge than a cream based edge dressing. Now one thing to be careful of is that this is a permanent leather dye, right? So I'm using a, a leather shoe shine carpet to protect my desk um, and you have to be very careful when applying this to your edges and not to actually make contact with the uh, upper leather uh, because uh, if you do dye the leather there is nothing to do uh, to remove that. So uh, you have to be very careful uh, and that's why I, I would certainly say that this is kind of a little bit more of an advanced uh, advanced uh, application. So I'm going to wet the little uh, cotton applicator uh, and then I'm going to try to remove as much of this excess dye from the applicator as possible. And again the purpose is, is to just help me further control the amount of dye that I'm applying. So take the applicator and you're just going to brush it across the heel. Now you can see that alcohol based um, dye really soak into the leather. Now be very careful, especially kind of along the waist of the shoe where the heel, where the edge is very tight um, or cut close to the actual leper. 
and then just rub this along the edge and allow it to soak in. Now you can see you need a little bit of time for the alcohol to absorb into the leather, but again, because this is an alcohol-based dye, the leather is really going to soak that in. So just allow it a little bit of time to dry and fully soak in before you turn it over. Be careful not to knock that over. And then just continue to dye this heel. Again, being very careful. Um, around the actual upper. And then if you feel that you need more saturation, uh, just do more applications. Okay, so it really doesn't take much to, to fully dye the heel. Make sure you uh, put the cap back on so that you don't have this spilling. Uh, and then allow this alcohol-based uh, dye to dry um, for you know three to five minutes. Now, one of the things that you'll see is after you apply the, uh, the leather dye, you're gonna end up with a really dull heel. Now, I think that a highly polished heel is much sharper than a dull one. So what we're gonna do next is we're gonna come on top of this with some of the Saphir uh, Medal d'Or Palmadier wax polish to just wax the uh, edge and the heel to provide that shine. So now that you've allowed the uh, liquid-based uh, edge dressing to dry, uh, the next step, uh, and again, optional, uh, but one that I prefer, is to then come on top of it using a neutral wax polish to just shine the edge and the heels. So I'm going to apply uh, Pomadier, Saphir Pomadier uh, neutral wax polish. with the welt brush. Now with these suede shoes, it's particularly important to be careful because what I don't want uh, with suede, which really would be less of a problem with standard calfskin, is to get any of the wax polish on the suede itself. So I'm gonna be really careful here in my application. Now there's two benefits to uh, applying a wax polish using a welt brush. Uh, first is that with any type of Goodyear welted shoe, uh, the wax uh, actually helps um, uh, nourish and protect uh, the welt stitching, right, in addition to shining the shoe. So I'm just going to apply some of this on the edge, right, and then being very careful, I'm going to try to get in to the actual welt without getting any of the wax polish on the suede. Now, as I said, if this was a um, pair of calfskin shoes, I'd be able to be a lot less careful. Um, so just applying this here using a welt brush. Now, one of the things that you could also try that I haven't yet is to use the mirror gloss for this step because again, it's a harder based wax polish. Uh, which would probably give you an even better shine uh, for the heels and edges. So I'm just applying the wax polish. You know, you really don't need to like massage it in there super, super tough. Okay, so I've applied the uh, Palmadier wax polish to the edge. Now, I'm going to allow this five to 10 minutes to fully dry before I come back on top of it using a, another uh, dauber to buff that off. After I've allowed the Saphir uh, Pate Deluxe wax polish to dry, I'm gonna take a, a clean um, dauber and uh, basically buff that wax off. Okay, so using brisk motions, I'm just buffing that edge and that heel. And the purpose here, like the effect, is really the same thing that you would see if you were actually polishing a wax polish on the uppers, is that you're simply gonna bring that wax polish up to a higher shine. Now the effect is subtle, but you can absolutely see that we've brought up the shine of these heels. 
So not only have we smoothed them out using the sandpaper, but we recolored them using the Saphir uh, Tincture Francaise alcohol-based leather dye. And then now we uh, waxed and, and shined them uh, using a uh, standard you know, Pate Deluxe wax polish. So with this edge care video, we've taken uh, a dull, uneven uh, edge and heel, and we've completely refinished that to uh, a heel that's almost as good as a new pair of shoes, if not actually even better. Uh, we did that using a little bit of sandpaper to smooth the edge, followed by the Tincture Frances alcohol-based liquid uh, leather dye to recolor the edges. And then we finished it off with a little bit of the Mandal Dior Pate Deluxe uh, wax polish to then shine those edges and give them just that little bit of extra pop. As you can see, these edges and heels look uh, fantastic and these shoes are uh, ready for another day out. So thanks for joining us. I'm Kirby Allison, founder of The Hanger Project. Uh, if you have any questions about this video, uh, feel free to email us at shoeshine at hangerproject.com or ask in the comments sections below. We love hearing questions. And if there's anything we can do to help you take care of your shoes, let us know. Thanks for joining us.